This guy is B Sensation and fellow 60 member Alex Shows. You may recognize them from the Halloween episode and the Christmas interrogation episode. You may have also noticed that Alex Shows isn't frequently present in those videos either, only showing up at brief moments. This is because Alex is too busy scrolling through Google images of the Michelin Man. Do not ask me why they do this. I don't know. Anyway, in a fit of frustration, Alex held me at gunpoint and threatened to dump my 115 liter barrel of root beer into the water if I didn't make a version of the interrogation exclusively featuring them. And so, I spent months of my life locking myself in my nuclear bunker in order to craft the greatest video ever made for my friend Alex Shows. So please enjoy this video featuring questions that haven't been relevant in two months, answered by my favorite non-binary Apple friend. And my my only non-binary Apple friend. By the way, if you hear me breathing weird in this video, it's because when I recorded this, I fell on the stairs. Not down the stairs, like I fell up. I fell while going up the stairs, my chest hit the staircase. And I was just breathing weird for like two days. Also, there's like weird static noise every time Alex speaks. Uh, not because I'm a bad editor, but because Slenderman kept appearing every time Alex said anything. So that's the reason why. So blame Slenderman. Harass the creator. Uh, anyway, enjoy the video. Bye bye now. Interrogation time. Did it. Hello, Alex Shows of Alex Shows Variety. Hello, Delta Jumbo. You're supposed to say I have Delta Jumbled Variety, but you didn't do that. You fucked it up. You f you fucked it. You fucked it up. Hello, Delta of the Jumbled Variety. Okay, thank you. I'm I'm keeping that in. I'm already recording. Didn't you say hello, Alex of the show's variety? No, I said hello, Alex of the Hall of the Alex shit of I said. But Are we leaving this in? I don't know. Alex shows. I'm going to interrogate you today with a bunch of cr questions that are way beyond um, its due date. Like way beyond, like this is like way beyond, like like a lot, like a lot. We were supposed to do this earlier, but we didn't. You know, you don't understand how busy I am fighting the chicken man every day. It's, it's so tiring. I mean, I love the guy, but like he's, he's got to stop. I don't think he likes me. Anyway, wait, hang on. Oh, we don't have to do this, but just for like immersion, I got a missions. No, I'll get out of here. This was very necessary. Welcome to the interrogation room, Alex shows. Okay, I guess I'm being interrogated now. You're being interrogated now. Um, this is these are very important questions. Very important. I'm going to need you to give your most honest, um, and serious answer to all of them. I'm gonna go through the list really quickly this is going to include questions that i didn't include in the christmas video because the video was getting too long so let's let's start off with your name you got one of those huh alex shows alex shows hey, yo. of the alex shows. of the alex shows variety they did the intro too so this is this is basic this is basically an alex shows intro alex shows video do you have a special talent you have any of those We don't got all day here, Alex Shows. I can do this. Uh, all right. Delta, cut to the best part of the song that I just put in BC text. Okay, I'm gonna do that later. Thank you for giving me more work, you piece of shit. Um. <laughs> Why does Tim Allen's face look like that? You the guy from Home Improvement? Yeah, the guy from Home Improvement and the movie The Santa Claus, because well, it's Christmas he themed. Power tool on himself. Actually, that's I think that's the best answer. Did you prepare for these? Like I asked you to? I asked you to. You didn't I, say anything about preparing for this. I offered you preparation. I gave you the list of questions hey, in our private like, messages. Okay? Alright, fine. I'm completely lying, by the way. I didn't give you any. Is it ethical to move an elf on the shelf when it's in your bathroom? 
I have enough cardboard boxes that I think I can just solve this problem by just, like, putting a box around it. Just putting it on there? Yeah, but wouldn't it get, wouldn't it get mad at you because, like... I'm pretty sure in the lore, if you, like, move it, even if you're not touching it, if you move it, no, it, like... I'm not putting it in the box. I'm putting the box around it. Oh! So that don't have to move it. That's genius. Or you could put one of your shitty leafs on your hoodie on its, on its like, eyes. That works. Be very careful, because I feel like if I touch it at all, that might count as moving it. And it'll be, like, kill, and then it'll try to kill you. And then it'll, Santa will beat you to death with a bag of coal. It's happened to me before. I held him at knife point once. I don't know if you knew that. I heard about that. Well, well we did it this year, too. I don't Thank you for, for that help, by the way. You guys in LA. I know you guys tried to assassinate me, but it was it was nice that we got to hold Santa at knife point together. It was very nice. Yeah. Um, uh, next question. Do you think Jesus is moon level in terms of power scaling? I did know about this specific question beforehand. Yeah. One of the many questions I knew about beforehand. I consulted my nearest expert, and he said yes. Okay. Do you believe, and and I need you to think long and hard about this, do you believe Santa Claus is a wizard? Well, given the whole teleporting, the super speed, the everything, uh, I think probably. I said this last time, like about a hundred times last video. But if you look at his beard, and he has, like, a hat that, like, looks like a wizard hat. So I think he is a wizard. And he uses Christmas magic. He's just a wizard. He can do magic. He can do magic. Like, that's canon. That's such, like, a wizard thing. It's, it's canon in the Christmas lore. When, when Santa in the Bible, when Santa had to go to the North Star, how did he do it? With the Christmas magic, obviously, and the reindeer. Oh, oh, oh. oh ho ho Jesus that's what he said to Jesus do you do you do and I, I actually don't I don't really need you to think long and hard about these I just want to extend the video um do you think just be Ben is capable of killing Santa Claus okay are we talking about the real life version of him or like his self insert OC what do you mean Alex he is he's the this is that is the real version of him because this is real you think Just Be Ben is is capable of killing Santa Claus? Yes. All right, cool. You're on you're on Team Ben. I think it's like split now. There's like three people on each four people. I don't know. Would you go back in time to kill Baby Krampus? Uh, given the fact that he kills children, I think it would be a fair game to give him a taste of his own medicine. Okay. <clears throat> what aren't you telling us? The better question is, what aren't you telling the audience? Quite a lot. I know what you did on that one fateful night in Nebraska. Did we don't talk about what we did two years ago in Nebraska, Alex shows. Answer the question. What aren't you telling us? Next question. What do you want for Christmas the most? Well, I guess... I can't. I guess you can't answer that now. What do you, okay. Christmas to the most? Yeah. The U.S. political structure to collapse. That's, that's pretty cool. I actually said I wanted uh, Santa to start hiring elves instead of enslaving them. I think that would be pretty cool. I just, he does pay them. You think he pays the elves? They're like little, they're like little short little children. I don't think they could care for them, so he just like takes them. I don't know. Honestly, I, I haven't gotten that fully confirmed. Um, picture this. Frosty the Snowman has been locked and trapped in a giant microwave. He has 10 seconds until he becomes completely melted. What would you do to save him? Turn off the microwave. I fucking hate... Did you watch... Okay, you watched, you watched it, right? I said that I watched the video, but also, like, when you asked the question, my first thought was just turn off the microwave. Alright, whatever. This is... This is fucking stupid. I was like, oh, this is such a good question. Everyone's going to be like, and then, no. All right. Um, what the fuck happened to Rudolph? Uh, in the, in the movie, the Polar, the, in the movie, the Polar Express, there's like a part where there's a statue of Rudolph and he is seemingly 
in a really position from a fight, which implies that he died in combat. That would be badass. Uh, can I just say that? That would be, like, the coolest way for Rudolph to go out. Ellie said, I, you watched the video, but Ellie said that the reindeer kept, like, getting replaced because this wasn't in the video. Um, she just she has a theory that the reindeer die, and then Santa just keeps replacing them and then pretending that they're the same reindeer. So I like to think that he just found, like, a like a glowing ball and then just keeps sticking it on, like, random reindeer noses. I just think it would be, that would, that would be smart. Interesting uh, theory. It's a good theory. If Santa hated golf, would you still like him? Uh, are we talking mini golf or like regular golf? Right. I forgot we like mini golf. We don't like regular. Okay, mini golf. Yeah. Uh, I would like him less, but I would still like the fact that he is accepting of when people ask him for golf equipment. That is pretty cool. He just gives it to you for free. Um, if Santa hated fishing, would you still like him? Again. Same thing, but replace golf with fishing. Okay. Uh, which $6 member would make the best replacement for Buddy the Elf in the movie Elf? Uh, hmm. I want to say Vump. You'd, s because... you'd say Vump? Yeah. Explain your reasoning. First off, he's relatively tall. If you've seen him in real life, he is a lot taller than you would think. Uh, second off, he still fits the whole, like, being out of place thing compared to all the other elves. Because... Because he's like, a pumpkin. Yeah. Compared to all the other human characters, he is, like... He's, he's, like, he's, he's, human. he's, like, he's a god, he's but a he's a pumpkin. pumpkin. To be fair, you're an apple, but you have, like, a, a human... A human form, yeah. Yeah. That's that's actually what I'm like staring at right now. Also, that means that I don't have to worry about the height the height differential because I can just apple. Yeah, you could just be like, I'm an apple. Nope, I'm a guy. Or, I'm a guy. Nope, I'm an apple. Boom. What would you do if you met Santa Claus, but he put your hand in your face, said "Got your nose," and then gave you your disembodied nose for Christmas? I don't have a nose. Okay, but but if you did, well, actually, maybe you don't have a nose because Santa took it and he's going to give it to you next Christmas. I'd find that very annoying. All right. He took my nose. <laughs> I might have to intervene. Uh, last question: Do you think Sisyphus gets Christmas Day off of rolling the boulder? I mean, like, he's being eternally punished for trying to prevent death. Yeah, but uh, yeah, but like they would give him the day off. I think it would be reasonable though, right? Do you think people in hell get the day off? Well, I wouldn't like I wouldn't put it beyond me. I love the vague implication that you run hell. I don't I don't <laughs> But I know people in hell they I I don't know if they get the day off. I never asked them. They're all like, oh, please save me, oh, oh, please save me, oh my gosh, please. It's like, bro, I, I, don't, I don't really, I just wanted to know if you get the day off. I, they never answer. Yeah, I don't think they get the day off. You don't think they get the day, honestly, that's, that's kind of a reasonable assumption. But you never, they haven't told me, so I don't, I don't really know. That was all the questions. Alright, am I free to go now? Yeah, the, the, you see the door, just, yeah, you can, okay. yeah. Wow. Ladies ladies and gentlemen and uh other Alex shows. Let me wait, hang on, let me get the Cool. This was worth it.